Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to scrape a list of usernames on any uh, Instagram page. So let's say you have a competitor or something like that and you want to scrape their usernames to later on, I don't know, send them a message perhaps. I'm going to show you how we could do that, okay? So let's go ahead and start capturing the steps because we don't have anything in this workspace. And let's go ahead and capture the actual steps. Let's wait for the countdown to finish. Let's enter Instagram. Username. We log in like we usually would in any browser and we click on these pop-ups. I'll show you in a bit how we can go ahead and fix those pop-ups. I'm going to allow this that doesn't interfere as much. And I'm going to enter my competitor's uh, URL. Okay, in this case I'm going to scrape myself, but you could use a competitor. And I'm going to click on the followers I have, and I'm going to scrape lists. Okay, I am going to scrape list the username, which are these two right here. We scrape text because I want the actual username, and I also want to scrape their profile link. Why not? I might do something afterwards with it. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm also going to save their name, just because. All right. So I already have those information. That's all the information I need. I can stop the automation. And as you can see here, we are going to send it to our Google page. If you do not have your Google account connected, you have to share it with this email, which is automations at taskmagic.com and put the link in here. But I have my Google account connected, so I'm going to go ahead and select the sheet, which is this sheet over here. And I am going to see if the headers are OK. And everything looks good. Everything looks fine over here. Let me just go ahead and show you this Google page. It has to be like this. And we connect it. Okay, so the next step would be actually to allow these pop-ups. We should allow errors on them. Just because they sometimes don't show up, they sometimes do. So let's go ahead and allow errors in case they do show up. Uh, I like to do it on the vast majority just in case, you know? And right before we click on the followers we have, we need to put our URL over here, okay? So I'm going to paste the URL of my competitor right before I click on the followers. And here is how we can see that we scraped many usernames, many user profile links, and the name. So. There's nothing much to it. I'll go ahead and press play and you'll see in a bit how everything starts scraping on this Google Sheet. And it is as simple as that. Once you see the run successful on the left, that means it's all set. If you want to see what to do with these usernames, you can see our video down below on how to send them an individual message and leave us a comment on what other videos you want to see, right? Have a great day.